Hey you guys, okay, so again, I know I look like crap right now, but I had to get this video up ASAP. So you guys all I'm sure have heard about the case of Natalie Halloway, the girl who went to Aruba and was missing. It's been like a couple years now. Um, so over and over and over there was Vandersloot, he was arrested multiple times, um, they couldn't prove him to be guilty right now. <laughs> He, and you know what, this is why they need to take criminals and bring criminals in to talk to these people because like from one criminal to another, like <laughs> I could tell you right now, like he's been guilty. But um, like that's what you gotta do. You gotta get on their level and like be like, yeah, I would've fucking killed her too. And then like that, then they will start to talk to you. But that's like common knowledge, but whatever. Anyways, who know? I don't know how they did it. Obviously, I wasn't there. But this is the bothersome part, is they finally now say they have evidence the case is pretty much closed. Um, obviously, they, she's dead. Um, but a while back, a man named Peter had stepped forward, and he was a roommate in 2005 to Vandersloot. And he had a recording um, or maybe it wasn't the roommate, but there was a guy named Peter. He had a recording of Vandersloot admitting that the girl had done drugs. She overdosed. He tried to resuscitate her. He couldn't bring her back. So he ended up needing help. Um, they didn't consider that to be enough evidence to arrest him again, which I think is bullshit, especially considering the fact that he had just murdered somebody in Peru. Another, like, college student in Peru and is, like, serving 28 years right now. Um... But what happened is, uh, somebody ended up stepping forward and saying, listen, um, he did it, and, um, there, he, he what, she was given GHB, and she overdosed, and, um, they, uh, started, she started foaming at the mouth, and then she died, and they couldn't bring her back, so, him and, I. Uh, the dad cut off her legs, put the rest of her body in a burlap sack, and buried her, um, and then, like, put a cactus on top of it to, like, distract that people, like, of what happened, and actually, as I'm reading right now, um, the reports did come back. They did find a body where they said it was going to be, and, um, the DNA is a match, so the case is closed. Um, I am so glad for the parents that the parents can finally rest, like, just not knowing, like, not knowing. Like, I know when I was using at the time, my mom used to say, I just, I wish you would die. Like, I just wish you would die so that I wouldn't have to wonder every day if you were dead or alive and worry every single night. Like, so for these parents, they must have so much comfort in finally having answers. Um, so let's see. It said she originally disappeared in 2005. Um, it was, let's see right here if I can pull up the names for you guys of what, who the, who the names were. But, uh, let's see. Yep, the DNA was a match. Uh huh, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm hmm hold on. Okay, so I was just looking up more information, but, um... Ooh, okay, well, some websites are updated. Alright, so some websites are updated saying that, uh, like, one of the DNA types did come back, um, but it's not, like, uh, like, it's not set in stone. I mean, um, obviously it is. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So by September, they will have an exact answer on if it is her or not. But obviously we know that it is, um, from what they can tell from the DNA test, like they pretty much can confirm, but they can't like confirm, confirm. Um, also, the guy knows exactly where the body was, he knows exactly what happened, he was, he admitted that he helped put the body there, and you know, like, this guy, this Vandersloot guy is so screwed up, he actually, like, contacted the parents and said, if you give me $25,000, I'll tell you where your daughter's body is. Like, how, how twisted can you be? 
Like, how twisted can a person be? Like, it just, it blows my mind. I want to, was, was he ever given a, um, um, a lie detector test ever? Was he, like, I, that, that's one thing I don't understand. How come he had, there's multiple recordings that people have of him admitting he admitted that he killed her, and then he had, he had, um, audio that him and his dad like sold her to like into the sex trade they had all of these audios and all of these videos of him admitting that he at least hurt her or did something to her and the the police did nothing like the Arabian police did nothing about it and even when they had the audio of him saying that she had overdosed and they couldn't revive her it wasn't enough for them to um, re-arrest him again, said the judge, but now come to find out that that audio was true, it was real, and it was from him, and, like, they waited all this time, they said it wasn't, like, valid evidence, and it turns out she did, was on GHB, she did overdose, and that's what did happen, I mean, and he, but he slipped it in her drink, obviously she didn't, like, take it intentionally, but, um, like, once this case is, like, officially, officially closed, like, that'll be so good. I'm, I'll, I'm so happy that the parents finally have answers. Um, I mean, I know that it's never going to be enough. Like, there's, losing a child is something that is, is something you'll never heal from that. I know, like, my brother passed away, and so my mom deals with this, and this is something that she'll, she'll never recover from that. Like, these parents are, and her, like, when my brother passed away, it was a car accident, so, I mean, he was killed, but... This girl was like murdered. Like I like I don't know how I would deal. I don't know if I could physically go on living if somebody killed my son. Like I just I think this whole I think the guy is disgusting. I think it's he's he's a disgusting person and I can't believe even for the person that he killed in Peru, he's only getting 28 years. Are you kidding me? And you want to know why he said he killed her? Because he was looking he caught her looking at evidence or information on his computer. So, like, she was, like, going through his computer looking for information on the girl, and he killed her because he freaked out. So, you freaked out that bad. And, like, these things weren't, like, big red flags, like, for the police. Like, I don't get it. Like, I don't understand. I think, yo, put me in a room with him for five minutes. I definitely could have gotten the truth out of him. I swear to God. Like, they need to have more criminals working with these criminals. Because, like, like, we're, they're, like, on each other's level. You know what I mean? Like, I, I will, I don't like to open up about my past and my addiction unless it's to somebody who is another addict. Like, um, even like me and my criminal history. I don't like to talk about my criminal history unless it's with somebody who's been there done that. Like, what they should have done is they should have like, somebody who's already in prison for murder, put a wire on him, put them in a room together, like when he was in jail for one of the multiple times. And then I'm sure he like, act all buddy buddy and I'm like, I, he probably would have ended up confessing to this person and they would have had like it right then. Like, I just don't like, did they not try these things? Like, um, does Aruba not make enough money that they couldn't have done this? Did nobody think of that? Did I really want to know? Did he even get a lie detector test ever? I know that really like, I don't know if like that's like 100% like admissible in court, but still like I, I just, I, I agree with the mother. I feel like the Arubian police like sucked during this whole case and that's really sad like but I don't know. I'm I'm so glad that it's coming to a close, like, for that family. It's, when I saw that online today, I, like, could not even believe it. I was, like, I thought this was going to be one of those cases that was just going to go on forever. But um, that's good news, though. But I really wanted to put that out there, though, and talk to you guys about it because I just saw it. And I was, like, oh, my God, this is crazy. So, yeah. Um, anyways, I will talk to you guys soon. And have a great weekend, safe weekend. Um, I was just watching live PD. It's like a, a TV show like where people are like live and like arresting people. Some of these cops are jerks. I mean a lot of them are nice but some of them are like some jerks on this show. Like let me tell you right now what I found out from my lawyer. If you get pulled over and the officers like think that you're on site like you can deny a roadside test. I didn't know that because my lawyer told me that on his best day, his best day, he could never pass a roadside test because it's like well, you're, you're standing on usually like, like, 
for me, for example, it was like 2 in the morning, pitch black on the side of a highway with cars zooming by. Like, really? Like, that's when you're going to do this, like, military-style test? But whatever. Anyways, um, so just be safe this weekend. Anyways, don't do drugs, drink, drive, any of that um, in the first place, and then you won't have this problem. Unless you're like me and are going under the speed limit and get an asshole of a cop, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!